uh, now to play uh, the uh, tracks in the uh, audio files uh, abstraction can be used again uh, however in the standard java library uh, there is not a, a library class that can uh, handle uh, mp3 files uh, but uh, uh, some individ there are many individual programmers uh, that uh, uh, write uh, their own uh, uh, classes that are useful and um, provide them to authors uh, and these this, uh, classes are called uh, third-party um, library classes and uh, for uh, the next version of the music organizer that will make it able to play uh, the audio files um, um, a third party library class uh, a, a set of classes is used from uh, javazoom.net and uh, the music player will uh, use um, uh, this uh, set of classes uh, and uh, it has uh, three uh, methods uh, play sample that uh, plays the uh, initial part of the beginning of the audio file and then uh, when it finishes it returns and um, uh, uh, another method pl uh, play uh, start playing and it takes uh, a parameter like uh, uh, play sample and start playing uh, returns immediately and st uh, starts uh, um, playing and uh, returns immediately and that's why there is also a stop method that uh, ends the playing of uh, the audio file. So let's try it by adding some files.
And now I try to play something that was not added. What if I put something that totally doesn't exist? There is an error. No point of exception. Oh, here it is. Uh, there was a problem playing audio in existing attempt tree. So it prints an error message if the file doesn't exist at all. So uh, with abstraction it was possible to play uh, and organize uh, these audio files uh, with uh, little coding effort because uh, the classes that uh, were written uh, piggyback on the functionality of the library classes. Uh, however, the um, implementation of the music organizer is not yet fully complete because um, there should be a way to list all the files that uh, are available and um, uh, to do this, uh, a loop control structure, a loop control structure is needed. 